to sh- the, to share bed. Yes. Guys, and the Two way boys, these beds are so small. Share bed. Mm-hmm. Because of the space we have. Okay. Yes. Good. But uh, one day we anticipate that we're going to have a better building uh, that can accommodate more beds. Mm-hmm. Because uh, for now, we do it that way. Yes. yes. So for now, two per bed. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, you can tell boys from the girls. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when we go when we go to the girls' rooms, you're going to to see the difference. <laughs> the difference. I'm talking about. Yeah. So soon, I actually need like forty plywood mm-hmm. to do renovation. renovation. Because you can tell they are ugly. Mm-hmm. Looking at them, they are not a beauty. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you have this room and the other room. You actually have like several rooms that need mm-hmm. renovation. Okay. But then sometimes I'm faced with a big challenge. For instance, if I have twenty thousand. When they need beans. Yes. Or school fees. Or school fees. Yeah. Or renovation. Then I have to ensure that I get it right. The Otherwise, priority. even if I do renovations and then they don't have it's, something to eat, it becomes senseless. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is where, guys, the boys sleep. Yes. Yeah. This is where the boys sleep. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Guys, yeah, the boys are here. Hi. 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 You're fine. Yes. Okay. You're also fine. You just sing around and everything. Bye. Let's just switch off the flash. Flash. So this is the tank uh, we use to store water mm-hmm. when there's no water around. Okay. So every time there's water, we ensure the tank. It is full. full. So it acts as a backup. Okay. Yes. So guys, this is a backup tank. So when there is no water, they use this. And these are the two important essentials. Yes. <laughs> these are the toilets or the washrooms. Yes. I know you guys will be shocked. These are the toilets you use here in Africa, Kenya. But if you so wish to bring the ball, bring them, please. <laughs> Oh. Guys, this is the bathroom oh. here. So this, you just have one bathroom? Yes. Okay. They have one bathroom, guys, and this is where they base. What? Yes, one bathroom. For boys and, and ladies? Boys and, for boys and girls? Yes. Okay. Oh, someone is in the bathroom. Uh, someone else. So these are the girls? Okay. Like I mentioned, you can tell the difference. Mm. Although I can see that one wasn't there last time, but it's there. It's there. Mm-hmm. Yes. So these are the girls. Take a flash card. Two per bed again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we have the other one here. Okay. Let me show you. So you also have this one. So oh, this is also the girls' room. Yes. Okay. What's up? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is the other side. Okay. And that's all in terms of accommodation. Mm-hmm. And then we have... So do the 67 kids fit in the field yes. versus fit? Yes. Oh. For instance, How are they two, two, uh-huh. eight. Eight. Okay. Okay. Sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty-seven. Only three rooms. Huh? We have another. One. We have a different room mm-hmm. at the far end. Okay. But that that's now for teenagers. Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay. They, they lock their door all the time. Oh. Okay. okay. Guy, meaning call me. You want to keep yeah. off? <laughs> I was just wondering. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Yeah, fine. <laughs> this is where everything else happens. Mm-hmm. A very important part of this home mm-hmm. because what you see here gives hope to hundreds of kids on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are home that loves, cares, and shares the little we have with the whole. And this is where everything happens now. So uh, I, have, I have like six volunteers who work here, mm-hmm. and this is a God-given team, mm-hmm. and uh, it would be selfish mm-hmm. yes. not yes. to give them a chance to say hi. The floor is theirs. Yes. Yes. 
Elizabeth Elizabeth what's your name? Abigail. Abigail and Linux. Nice to meet you guys. Welcome. Oh, there's another one there. Hi guys. Hi. My name is Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Much welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah. Now this is the other room. And this is my next big project. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain why shortly. Watch out. What's 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 Nice. Thank you guys. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and that is nature. And I am the testimony. And every day I'm getting better. Getting what? Better. Fantastic. Wow. So this part of the family. And uh, the others are all doing something or resting. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what I call my family. You know, I haven't had a relationship with my blood relatives for the last 31 years. And this is what I call my family. And I don't regret it at all, at all, at all. So this used to be mom's room, but uh, I don't like going in there because if there's a place that reminds me of the sad moments that she went through, this is a place. She would scream 24 hours uh, due to pain. And you can imagine, uh, she had gotten to a point whereby she didn't care whether you saw her naked or not. You know, when someone gets to that point, then I'm afraid uh, it is at that boiling point. And it wasn't fun at all at all. And this is uh, my next big project because as you can see, this is a very tiny living room. And my dream is to bring down the structure, mm. rebuild it like the other structure, mm. so that the lower part will serve as the living room, stroke study room, stroke the entertainment room. Mm. And then the other part will serve as, I can actually ship my office to, to the upper part, mm. and then I could have a store as well. So it will free the other double room, and which is going to ensure that we can accommodate more kids comfortably. Mm. But then resources, has always been a big challenge. Mm. But I have faith in God that one of these fine days, he will send us an angel mm. to do what we dream of doing. And I can only say that it's only a matter of time before it happens. Yeah. I'm a guy who runs the home mm. on faith, mm. nothing else. Because <laughs> even if you ask me for what my plans are for the next one month, I'll tell you for free, I rely on 100% on God mm. and when he comes. Yeah. So we, we take one day at a time uh, instead of trying, you know, to plan, to plan ahead, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then get disappointed when things don't work out. Mm. So I face one day at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Before we leave, I have the kids to just do the slogan again for us. Uh, <laughs> Give God is good. All the time. Now, psych guys. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and that is nature. Wow. And I am the testimony. And every day I'm getting better. Every day getting what? Better. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and that is nature. Wow. And I am the testimony. And, and every, every day, day I'm, I'm getting, getting better. better. Fantastic. So this, this is where we call our TV room. Okay.
Okay. Now you can imagine mm. when all of them are home and all of them want to watch to TV. Watch. Sometimes it doesn't work. Mm. Yeah. Hello guys. It's mama. <laughs> So, uh, guys. So, on the other hand, mm -hmm. the tanks. Yes. One belongs to our neighbor. Okay. This one. Okay. And this is ours. Okay. So, at least we ensure we have water all the time. Okay. Because you cannot run the home mm -hmm. without water. maintaining sanitation. Yeah. To ensure that the kids are all clean, the compound is clean. So it might be small but well maintained. Mm -hmm. Make sure that I <laughs> Yo Anne, thank you so much for plugging me Actually, here because it's, 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 it's a good emotion. place. Yes. Yes. It's so emotional. You, you know you can always do it as a project. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe quarterly um, you know? Yes. Yeah. Come and see our hall. Oh their hall. Do you remember, oh, wow. do you remember I mentioned my medicine with death treatments? Yes. So you've met me, mm -hmm. the smiling lady. Oh. Now this is Melody. Oh, okay. She's the younger sister to Nyambu. Okay. And then we have a gentleman by the name Peter. Okay. Yes. Oh. So let her say hi. 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 We are glad to see you, for seeing you and welcome again here, Mama Elizabeth. Yes, welcome so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is where we uh, we come to chill, or when we have visitors, this is where like we go the event yeah. because at least despite the fact that it's hot, okay. we are able we, we are able to accommodate others and we, we can enjoy a moment together. While here, so uh, we might not have the best resources, but I assure you, we utilize what we have to the maximum, and they receive all the love that yes. they need to, to thrive and grow. We, that's what we do. Yes. That's what we focus on. And when, when they are here, mm -hmm. then they are able to use that Washington. other room there. Okay. Yes. So at least we count ourselves lucky, mm -hmm. because unlike most families. Uh, we, we at least have three that Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, the small things people take for granted. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So uh, I'm always putting my our, our tail all over. Yes. Because uh, when I mobilize, mm -hmm. I encourage people to send via the tail. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, as indicated here, mm -hmm. this is my number. Mm -hmm. So that whoever feels like they want to reach out to me, yes. So this is the number we use. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we'll talk about that a little bit shortly. Okay. So, guys, he has uh, he has shown us uh, how the children's home is structured and you know what what each room serves. So after that, we'll go to the next session, which is showing the people that what we have bought and what now we are going to donate to them. Okay. Yes. Let's go back. Sinipos. Hello. Oh, Professor Fungapo, please come with me. The queue starts at the gate. Okay. And sometimes you have double lines, mm. you know, mm. because we are not able to accommodate all of them in a small space. Okay. So what we do, we will draw some with queue on that side mm. and then others on this, side. Uh, on this side. So for the program that you were saying for, he serves 300 to 500 kids on a, on a daily basis within the community. So this is where they queue before they get served. Thank you for showing us. And as you guys can see, this children's home is literally in the middle of, of a slum. Of a slum. Yes. So, I find your transparency very tragic. <laughs> very, very important. Yes, very important. So, guys, uh, this is what we have bought today. So, number one, 
the G I know all of us we are one team. So the G squad, A squad, and Bokeh team, we all share as the same community. So this is what we bought. We bought. Uh, this is rice. Yes, this is 15 kgs of rice. We bought 10 kgs of beans. We bought 10 kgs of uh, green grams. In any current rice. Even the makujana. In all makujana. Oh, this is just this is 15 kgs. 10. 10. 10. Or oh, 10. So us, we bought 15 kgs of rice. And then we bought two bales of uh, ugali. Unga. The unga, that is maize flour, which is a common staple meal. So we bought two bales. And then uh, Nicolin has uh, brought, these are tissue papers and pads. So Nicolin has brought the tissue papers and these two packets sanitary. Of, of sanitary towels. And she has also bought the 10 kgs of rice. Yes. For us, we bought 15 kgs of rice. So she has come with this. And then, uh, besides that, we bought this is oil, cooking oil. This is five liters of cooking oil. We also bought juice because we know they are children, they need something for refreshment. So this is uh, five liters of juice. Besides that, we bought uh, two packets of biscuits, again, just for the snacks because they are children. And then we bought some candy, four packets of uh, candy or sweets. So that is what we bought uh, together as the G squad and the A squad and the bouquet team. And I have the receipts here with me. I will take a picture because I know the transparency is very important to account for every cent that was sent. So besides this, we have a, so guys, uh, Esquad, we had we had suggested that we'll just give the money yeah. because the money wasn't much. But I met someone yesterday and they were like, you know what, and let me buy food. So the, all this food that you see bought here was not among the money that we had contributed. So this was totally on one person who sent me money today morning and they said, let me buy the food. So this is the food that we bought. And then uh, for the money that we, we contributed together as a squad, I just have my notebook here with me. I'm just going to read the names because it is very important for me to do that. Uh, okay, so these are the names of the people who contributed, how much they've contributed, and how much we have in total. So number one, we have Zach, Zach Fab, he contributed $40. We have Angel Blade, he contributed $50. We have Silver Fox, he contributed $40. We have Banja, he contributed $55. We have Umuntu, he contributed $20. We have Jo, no, this person told me not to mention their name. They contributed $50. We have Junja Bet, she contributed $25. We have Facts Over Fear, he contributed $5. We have Charles Kibui, he contributed $10. We have Naf Chepkoit, he contributed $10. We have Big Me, he contributed $40. And then we had someone else yesterday send me money to my Mpesa called Hudson Alusa. He contributed 6,900 Kenyan shillings. So in totality, the dollars were $345. And I multiplied that with the current, uh, with the current USD, which is 129 today. And it came to 44,505. And then now adding to the 6,900 that I received in my Mpesa in Kenyan shillings, that was 6,900. So in total, we contributed 51,405 Kenyan shillings. shillings. Thank Yay! you. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> yes. So yes, we contributed 51,000. 405 Kenyan shillings and that is what we are going to give sheriff today in terms of the cash and the what the, the the food that we have bought was the money that was sent to me by the other person he said you know what just 
take this money and buy the food because initially we were like this amount is very little let, let us just give him the money yeah yes so that is it and uh, we have nicoline here we have the children here we also have other people who have visited us i have the money in my mobile number so i'm going to send it directly to him we'll show them the message in the video and everything so we'll just pause this video we do we do the transaction and then you continue with the video yep yes thank you guys thank you my pause mm -mm. okay you can just maybe say an appreciation to the now the team that contributed okay. are my followers her followers and the ones who have also come okay. so all of this has been contributed by a youtube family yes the people who follow us on youtube yes yes hi guys sheriff anthony uh once again uh i don't know my elizabeth and i want to say on behalf of the home thank you guys for every contribution that you made mm -hmm. for every sacrifice you made to ensure that this happens uh i can say for sure that uh whatever she's going to send to me will make a big difference because i had actually mentioned to her that when i reported today they were telling me to buy to ensure that we have cereals mm -hmm. in terms of green grams and beans so part of it will go towards cereals and then part of it will go towards school fees. Okay. Thank you. May the Almighty bless you all. Thank you. Thanks. Before I end mine, mm -hmm. will you just give us your handle like Facebook, oh, yes. Instagram, yeah. for those who want to reach you like directly? Mm -hmm. Because maybe we might not be available to come here, and maybe they will want to yes. like contact you personally. Okay. So maybe you can leave your handle, maybe Instagram, name. Facebook name, or besides the number that okay. I saw there, right. that that is WhatsApp number. Uh, yes, okay. that's your staff member. Okay. And uh, our handles, my handles are Sheriff Anthony, S H E W R I W F, then Anthony. Okay. But uh, th that's what I use everywhere. But you can also check the homes uh, handles out. Mama Elizabeth Home Korogocho. Mama Elizabeth Home Korogocho. Okay. Uh, let's at least communicate. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. So we, what we are going to do, Nicole, we are going to open for him a buy me coffee. Oh, yeah, we do it today home. before we yes, leave. We do it today Guys, before, before we, we end the live. Yes. Guys, uh, A squad, G squad, <laughs> we are here today, and Boke team in absentia. Yeah. We are here today to support Mama Elizabeth's children's home. And uh, we have the one who runs this children's home, and we are very pleased to be with him here. So please introduce yourself. Hi guys, I am Sheriff Anthony. I run my Elizabeth Home Korogosho, and I'm glad to have you here. Yes. And uh, welcome. Yes, welcome. welcome. So it is good to you know to to meet you today. So we love to know how did Mama Elizabeth Children's Home start? Well, it's a long story, mm. and uh, I would start by saying, Mama Elizabeth started with us. Okay. I and my brothers. Yes. And uh, for instance, I came here in 1993 mm -hmm. after losing my biological mom to HIV. Mm -hmm. HIV was a big deal by that time. Yeah. And sadly, my mom was not among the lucky ones who were at least enjoying their ARVs yeah. and, you know, prolonging their life. Mm. My mom was not as lucky. Mm. But our greatest miracle was Mom Elizabeth, now the home's founder. Yeah. Uh, Mom Elizabeth and my biological mom were colleagues. Mm -hmm. They were both here address us at Range Trans Plaza. Mm -hmm. And their friendship started off, you know, like the normal work relationship. Mm -hmm. And along the way, they became best friends. Mm -hmm. Then, unfortunately, Mom Elizabeth lost one of her sisters yeah. and she left behind six kids. Mm -hmm. And instead of Mom Elizabeth running away from the problem, mm -hmm. she faced the problem head on. Yeah. She took the sister's kids, she took them in, and when she took them in, uh, I would say the kindness, mm -hmm. that kind gesture touched my mom. And as I, as I, by the way, she lamented that, hey, you have a kind heart and mm -hmm. I would love my kids to be taken in by someone as kind as you, mm -hmm. should something happen to me. Yeah. Little did she know that 10 months later, she would have succumbed to each other. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, now that's when we realized that she had a very good reason to be worried about her family. Because now our purported blood relatives, instead of them coming to save us, mm -hmm. they came for material things. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? They divided everything amongst themselves. Yeah. And to some extent, some of them took our own clothes to take to their own kids. Yeah. You know? And I remember as a kid, I grew up wearing ragged 
Today we wear ragged as a fashion. Yeah. But, but then, that time, uh, it was I didn't have any other option because they took the best for for their own kids. Yes. And then when Mama Elizabeth realized that no one was coming to our rescue, and I am the firstborn of four kids, mm -hmm. and when she realized that no one was coming to our rescue, that's now when she came and took all of us in. Mm -hmm. When she took us in, remember we are four, and before us the she had taken her sister's six kids, yes. and she has her own biological kids. Today. Yeah. And that was quite a big family. Mm. Uh, you can imagine. You are used to providing for three kids, and now you have to provide for thirteen, 13 kids. For thirteen kids. Yeah. But Mama was a selfless person mm -hmm. because she made all the sacrifices that a mom could make mm. to see us through. Mm. And what she did was, uh, she knew that despite the fact that she had given us shelter, education was paramount. Mm. And for this reason, she took uh, the six daughters belonging to the sister, mm -hmm. now her, her nieces. Yeah. She took them to SOS Eldoret. Mm -hmm. At least it's a well-established children's home. Mm. Then two of my brothers went to Mahiga Children's Home in Nyeri. Okay. And my baby brother was adopted by our biological mom's client. Remember she was a hairdresser? Yes. And she was very good at her work. Mm -hmm. So one of her, uh, uh, one one of of her clients yeah. adopted my baby brother. Mm -hmm. And then there was me. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember I was the last one to join school, to join you know, a place where I would get educated. Yeah. Because uh, I remember I used to come in at a place called the Andorra Dump Site. Mm -hmm. You know? If I got an apple that has been beaten and I didn't care whether it was dirty or rotten, yeah. provided I fed myself. Mm -hmm. But then one day when I was coming from that place, I met a madam and uh, she happened to be a social worker. She got interested to know why I was not in school like other kids mm -hmm. and that was one way of god making a difference in my life because when we came here to meet my elizabeth mm -hmm. they knew each other and she was a social worker yeah so that's how i ended up in a center called saint charles luanga mm -hmm. it's in roi mm -hmm. mama elizabeth now the home's founder became a patient of cancer okay that was towards the end of uh towards the start of 2016. Mm -hmm. and we battled the disease up to 2019. Mm -hmm. 2019 was our worst year as a home because mom was in Kenyatta for nine months out of 12. Mm -hmm. And towards the end, two weeks before her death, she held my hand and delegated the responsibility. Mm -hmm. So to be honest with you, um, this was something that had said that I'd grow up to do. Okay. I had other plans, okay. but then God's plans are always final. Yeah. Because he knew I'd go through all this mm -hmm. just to do what I do today. Yeah. And two weeks before mom rested, she held my hand and she was like, hey, I'm ready to go home. And I was like, hey, mom, how can you say you're ready to go home and the doctors have not discharged you? Mm -hmm. But she had other ideas. Yeah. Because right there, uh, right after, she would mention names of people who had, you know, who had died. Okay. Including my mom, her brothers, mm -hmm. her, her dad, her mom. Yeah. She would call out their names. Mm -hmm. And on 6th December 2019, mom Elizabeth rested. Mm -hmm. By that time, we had 45 kids. Mm -hmm. Now you can imagine, I had my own plans, mm -hmm. and here, here I've been handed over, you know, a big responsibility yeah. that I had not embraced myself to, to partake. Mm -hmm. But then what I did was that uh, when it was given to me, I had to embrace the responsibility. And now that makes you understand why I'm the guy in charge. Mm -hmm. And why I do this passionately is that uh, I want to keep mom proud. Mm -hmm. And the fact that someone who is not my blood relative gave me a chance, this is why I love doing what I do. Mm -hmm. And today, in terms of uh, the home, yes, we have 67 kids. Okay. Some of these kids are orphans, some are neglected kids, mm -hmm. and some come from poor backgrounds. Okay. Some come from uh, single families where you'll find a young lady mm -hmm. having six kids from different dads. So what you do, you give a kid a chance anticipating that tomorrow they'll go back to their families and do something positive about yes. about their situation. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, we also we are a home that cares about the community. Okay. Uh, and for this reason, we have a feeding program that feeds 300 to 500 kids on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. We provide lunch and supper. Mm -hmm. And you've just served, and yes. unfortunately, 
many kids have missed lunch yes, again. Yes, they have missed lunch. And uh, it it breaks my heart every time I see a kid going mm. with an empty uh, an empty plate. Mm. But unfortunately, I struggle with resources mm. because uh, feeding the kids needs resources. For instance, when we do rice, mm -hmm. we do 50 kilos a meal, one meal. Wow. When we do ugali, we do two bales a day, pa a day. Per, meal. per meal. Yes, and on Saturdays, because we do chapati, mm -hmm. we do three bales. That is 72 kgs worth of, of wheat, yes. wheat flour. Yes. You know? So it's not a joke, and in terms of cereals, the likes of beans, Every serving, yes. we do 25 to 30 kgs. Every serving. Yes. Mm -hmm. So without support, sometimes I struggle a lot. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I post on my pages. Sometimes people respond. Sometimes people don't respond. Yes. But then I believe in my main sponsor, mm -hmm. God. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And then that's the feeding program. Mm -hmm. Then even if I give you shelter, I feed you. Mm -hmm. And then I don't give you the most important empowerment tool, which is education. Yeah. Everything would be null. Yes, yes. So for this reason, we have a, an education system a program that sponsors 122 kids. Two are comrades, Tarakanidi University and uh, Imperial School of Health and Sciences, mm -hmm. respectively. Mm -hmm. In secondary school, I have 60 kids. Mm -hmm. Different schools, mm -hmm. including including national schools, okay. you know, Congratulations. and then, yes, uh, then 16 primary and mm -hmm. junior secondary. Okay. Uh, for instance, this year I have 14 candidates okay. who are sitting for KCSC. Okay, that's good. And I'm um, anticipating that they'll do well to join college. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the support, yeah. the kind of support I need you to need ensure that next year, these January. kids, I push them towards their dreams. Mm -hmm. And uh, it hasn't been easy, Anne, mm -hmm. because I've been like doing this for the last five years, mm -hmm. and without sponsors, it hasn't been a joke. Mm -hmm. And for your information, I also have my own family. I have my own kids. I have to ensure that I pay their school fees. So apart from the run, apart from running the home, mm -hmm. uh, I have a business, and I sell clothes mm -hmm. up to date. Yeah. And I can tell you for sure that I use my business to support the home most of the time. Mm -hmm. Because so sometimes I post on my WhatsApp, I post on Facebook, I post on you know other different social media pages, but yeah. you know people how people react. Yeah? Yes. If you post something that uh, will attract congratulations, then most people will be attracted to that post. Yes. But when you're appealing for help, then people you know a hundred likes turn to one like you know. Yes. And that's the norm. But then again, faith helps me keep running the home mm -hmm. even without sponsors. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been easy. I will, I will not lie to you that it has been easy. Yeah. It hasn't been. So, so let me ask you, you've said like you have 67 kids here, yeah. but you have more kids whom you are you are like taking to school. Yeah. Is that the case? Yes, it is the case. So we have you have kids who don't stay here, but you you take them to school? Yes, non-residents. Okay. The reason we do this, uh, most of these kids come from that queue, the mm -hmm. feeding program queue. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's where other kids identify kids who don't go to school. Mm -hmm. And when they pinpoint them to me, mm -hmm. then I take interest. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find a kid who is bright, but since he or she is not an orphan, getting a sponsorship becomes a challenge. Yes, because they're you know? not very bright. No, no, actually, not, they're bright. Oh, they're bright. But then most sponsorships mm -hmm. insist and put emphasis on the word oh, orphans. Oh, you might find they have yes. families, mm -hmm. yes. like they have their home, but they are very needy. They yeah. can't afford to go to school. Okay. Yes, now you can imagine. Okay. That that's one of the biggest challenges I've seen. Mm. And uh, if you don't give if you don't give a chance to that kid, mm -hmm. then yeah. their future is wasted. Yes. Because if it's a girl, chances are you'll meet her pregnant mm. within a short span of time. Yes. And if it's a boy, either drugs or crime. Mm. You see, all these kids need a chance. Sometimes one could be an orphan, but then they have a supportive family. Yes. You know? On the other hand, a kid could be having parents mm -hmm. who are drunkards. Yes. They are parents who are hopeless. Parents who have been jobless for many years, and they cannot even feed themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, how is such a kid go to, go to school if people like us don't come through for them? Mm -hmm. So this is where uh, I come through for the kids. Mm -hmm. And what we do is that we do home visits to ensure that the, the case is needed. Mm -hmm. 
And I can tell you for free that all of the cases that we have, all the cases that we handle mm -hmm. are needy cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can imagine most of the people I grew up with, uh, especially the ones who are doing well, mm -hmm. they are always telling me, hey, man, you need to take care of yourself. You, you kind of forgot about yourself. Uh, about yourself. But I tell them that uh, what I do is the best in the investment because it gives me the contentment yeah. that uh, I can tell uh, I cannot compare with anything else. Okay. Mm. You know, this, uh, even if you gain everything mm. and you don't make, you don't yes. add value to someone else's life, then it's useless. Mm. Yeah. So this is why I choose to do what I do. Mm -hmm. And I'll never regret because I also want to keep my Elizabeth proud. You know, they are gone, but they, they are always watching. Mm. So yeah. this is why I do it passionately. Okay. And for the fact that someone gave me a chance yes. when everyone else had beaten us off. Mm. Yes. Okay. That's good. So, if, okay, guys. So, finally, we have finished the transaction. We have given him every single cent that you contributed. And uh, we have the phone here where we have uh, sent the money. So, this is the this is the money that you can see here. Confirmed on 12th 11th, November. No. 12th <laughs> November 2024. Received, received fifty one thousand four hundred and five from and Nyamunga, yes, from A Squad, G Squad, and Bucket Team, fifty one thousand. And yes, we are very grateful. We are very happy. This was definitely a good cause for us to do today. Sheriff, do you have any other thing for you to add? Yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> uh, guys, my biggest challenge. Uh, actually, I have two challenges. Uh, no, these are the main ones. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, the food and the school fees. Mm. For instance, this year has been the most challenging year since I took over. Uh, because for the first time, I'm going to the next school term with the arrears. Mm. And you can imagine it's not a small amount because uh, we owe the schools 400,000, you know. 400,000 Kenya shillings 400,000, that is around 4,000 4,000 USD Yes That's around 4,000 USD Yeah, 4,000 USD 4,000 USD arrears for the previous yes. terms For the term that has just, just ended. ended And uh, to be honest, I won't lie to you guys that I'm not worried uh, Because if, for instance, uh, the reality of the matter is that I'll need 1.3 million, million Kenya shillings uh, during the first term and I owe the schools the 400, hundred. now the arrears. Mm -hmm. You can imagine the, the challenge. Yes, and really you see, cool. I encourage people, if you're able to pay for a kid directly, to the school. Uh, I encourage people to reach out mm -hmm. because when you reach out, then I'm able to give you school details and you can make payment, you can, you can make pay payments directly, directly to the school, to the school. school. then school. share the transaction mm -hmm. so that I can also show the same to the school. Yes. Yes. Mm. So uh, if you're able to help, reach out guys okay. let's do this let's empower these kids through education uh, because if we support their dreams then tomorrow we'll all be proud uh, pointing at each and every kid and saying that they made it yeah. and uh, there's no other contentment that can be compared to seeing someone that you support and make it through. Yeah. yes so what's next and what's next Food. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for coming as well. Yeah. Thank you. So we have uh, some sweets here or candy. We are just going to share with the kids. Can I call some of them? Yes, please. Hello, guys. Oh. And there's something else we've forgotten to talk about. Yes. The last time I was here, I remember you talking about uh, discipline. Yes the kids can you just share some light on it because i've seen i've been here and i've seen it can you just share how you instill discipline in these children uh love changes everything because uh if you if you show them love and you give them love even when you when you do correction they take it positively we ensure we talk to our kids and uh i can i can attest to the fact that they are all well disciplined mm. because we don't compromise on discipline. Because uh, to be honest, without discipline, we can never make it. Yeah. So we ensure our kids are disciplined. Yeah. Uh, we have different uh, ways of approaching different things. And uh, we have my sister there 
who deals with that department. <laughs> she was very good at they it. They get leaks. <laughs> Sorry? Leaks? No, so, sometimes uh, you pinch. Oh. You know? Okay. Uh, you don't do it excessively. Yeah. You do it with love. Okay. Because even in our, in our own homes, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to take Action. a certain measure <laughs> yeah. to ensure so that guys, you do not lose it. Month, yes. Yeah. When you misbehave and uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Have to, it has to, someone has to act on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So we are going yes. to. Yes, we are yeah. going yes. to. Share, yes, we are going to share this candy, and anyway, that was it about today and what we have done together as a team. Thank you so much again. Appreciation to everyone of you who has contributed by sharing this video to your friend by commenting by watching so that our videos reach to as many people as possible we are going to ensure that we have uh the methods where you can now from today send money directly to the children's home and we'll always be linking those uh those those methods or those links on our description videos. box on our videos on each and every video and if you want to support via, you know, the tuition fees or school fees, you can always reach out to him directly. You can, if you, if you don't want to send the money directly here, he can give you the details of the school where you can send the tuition fees directly to. Yes. Yeah, and then to when the you school. do, yes, to the school. And then when you do, make sure you send him the receipt because he needs to go and show them that this and this student was paid for this amount so that the school fees can be deducted. So guys, thank you so much as we share the as we share the as we share the sweets. Nicoline, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, she wants to say thank you. Someone here wants to say thank you. Okay. On get. I want to say thank you for for what you have done for us. Yeah. May God bless you. Oh. Oh. Very <laughs> anyway, as we end this vlog, yeah. I want to say thank you, thank you so much, G Squad, for supporting, also A Squad for supporting us. And as we usually say, be, be kind. kind. Until next time, stay curious for my next upload. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>